light comparison. Vanilla JavaScript versus Vue. We're going to do just a really, really simple thing to do just to kind of look at how your workflow might change for something really small. Um, so in vanilla JavaScript, if I want to output like a bunch of, you know, a bunch of things in a list, like let's say I have a manifest file someone gave me and I need to just output it onto the page. Um, I have const items, uh, which is, you know, if you're not familiar with ES6 is like bar. Um, and you have an array of values here, a bunch of stuff. Then, in order to output it onto the page, I might write a function that says list of stuff. I create a for loop, and I'm going through each one, and I'm you know, plotting each one to these LIs, and then I go into the DOM, grab with document query selector, I grab a container, and then I'm going to insert the in, you know, all of those LIs into the container. Then I will call that function, and then in the HTML, I will say div ID container. So that yields this you know, list of stuff. This is not, you know, nothing special over here. So we've got this new view instance, and we're establishing a relationship with that um, element, that, uh, with that ID of app. And then in data, I have a list that I'm calling items, and I have that array. Then in the HTML, I say div ID app. I have a UL here, and then I say li v4 item in items and output what the item is. And you can already see that that, first of all, that's all I need in order to create this list. That yields all of this. Um, but you can already see how much more declarative this is. I'm not having to write everything like steps in a recipe. I'm literally saying, here is my list, and here's what I want you to do with it. And the computer does the hard work for us. That's really great. Um, so this is a really simple example. You can see how in a larger application with much more complex data that this kind of abstraction really pays off. Okay, so the things that I love about it, again, are that it's clean, it's semantic. I really you know, enjoy making uh, apps that are semantic and that are good for blind people and things like that. With Vue, I'm actually working with HTML um, elements a lot of the time, so I can write clear, you know, clean semantic markup. Um, it's really declarative, as you saw. It's super legible, um, and it's easy to maintain. It's reactive, which we'll get into in another section. And I'm offered all of these directives. 